Hello, my name is Christopher Fields, and today we're going to create a user VPN connection using Azure Virtual WAN and Terraform. Now let's get started. The first thing I want to note is that I'm running Terraform using PowerShell in the Azure console, but you can run Terraform in whatever environment you feel comfortable with. So the first thing we want to do is to check our directory where we have all our Terraform files. As you can see here, we have two files. We have the main.tf file and the p2s.tf file. Now, the first thing we want to do is look at the main.tf file because that has some information that we're going to use later. We're not going to show this exact um, main.tf file, but I want to show you what's in it. So let's go to the PowerPoint, and as you can see, I have the code of what's in the main.tf file. So the first thing we want to do in there is specify the provider, and in this case is Azure, so we use the azure.rm. Then we want to specify features, which we don't have any specific features, so we just left a blank for this example. And then we want to add our subscription ID. So this is where you would add the subscription ID for your account. The next thing we want to do in the main.tf file is specify a resource group. So here, we're just going to call it a resource, and then we're going to use the resource group. So it's Azure RM underscore resource underscore group. And now this next part is in quotations, is the local name that Terraform uses when it's referring to this resource group. So in this case, we're just going to call it Terraform. And so we have our curly brackets, and inside there, we have a name field. And this name is the name that Azure is going to use for the resource group. So here I just called it Terraform-resource. And then, and then next, we're just going to add a location. For me, I'm in East US, so I used East US, but you can use whatever location you like. So now that we got that out of the way, we can go back to our console, and we can go look at that p2s.tf file. And for the sake of this demonstration, I've already written the code, but we're going to walk through it, make sure it works, and run it. So the first thing we want to do in this situation is we want to create our virtual WAN. And so I'm going to show you how to create a virtual WAN using Terraform. So we're going to call a resource. And in this case, this resource is a virtual WAN. So Azure RM underscore virtual underscore WAN. And just like in the resource group, this is going to be the local name Terraform uses to reference this uh, virtual WAN we're creating. So we're going to do a curly bracket. And then inside the curly bracket, we're going to have a name. And just like in the resource group, this is going to be the name that Azure uses when creating your virtual WAN. And so over here, we're just going to keep the name the same. I don't really see any reason why we would change it. The next thing we want to do is we want to reference the resource group that we created earlier. And so to do that, it's just resource underscore group underscore name equals Azure RM underscore resource underscore group. And in here, we're just going to have a period and here we're going to call the resource group that we defined in the main.tf file. And as you remember, we just named it Terraform. So you will just put Terraform here and dot to say, hey, this is the name. The next thing we want to do is we want to do the same thing with location. So location equals Azure RM underscore resource underscore group dot Terraform because that was the resource group we defined earlier and dot location. Hey, this is the location. In this case, it was East US. So there, with just those couple commands, you've created a VWAN using Terraform. Congratulations. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to create a Terraform hub. And you would run basically a very similar process. So you would call a resource. You would call a Terraform virtual hub. So we have Azure RM underscore virtual underscore hub. Here, we're just going to call our virtual hub Terraform hub. Um, and then we're going to have our curly brackets, and inside of that, we're going to have a name, an assistant, just like everything else. This is going to be the name that Azure uses to refer to our virtual WAN hub. Here, we're just going to keep the name the same, just like we did, just like we did with the virtual WAN. So we're just going to call it Terraform Hub. The resource group name and the location configurations are the exact same thing as above, but but this time when we're creating a virtual hub. 
we do want to add the virtual WAN that we're associating with it. And so here is where we have our virtual WAN, virtual underscore WAN underscore ID equals Azure RM underscore virtual underscore WAN, then Terraform dash VWAN, which is what we created above, dot ID, because this is the ID for it. And then we're going to just add our address space that we're going to use for our virtual WAN hub. And here, to do that, we're just going to do address underscore prefix equals 10.1.0.0 slash 23. That is the address range I used, but you can use whatever address space you like. So just after running those couple blocks of commands, you created your virtual WAN and your virtual WAN hub, both using Terraform, right? Pretty simple so far, right? Cool. So the next thing we want to do is we want to set up our VPN configuration. And specifically on this one, we're going to set up the certificates. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to say resource. And then here we're going to call our VPN server, our VPN configurations. And so for that, it's Azure RM underscore VPN underscore server underscore configuration and the name of the configuration we're using, just like before. I'm just going to call it Terraform dash VPN. And just like before, you want to name it because this is the name that Azure is going to use. And so I'm just going to use the same name, which is Terraform dash VPN. Resource group is the same as above. Location is the same as above. Now we want to specify the authentication type. And so for here, to do that, we do VPN underscore authentication underscore types equals. We have our brackets. And then you're going to specify the authentication type you would like to use. In this example, I want to use certificates, so I so you put in certificates. And then now what you want to do is you want to add your client root certificates that you're going to use um, for authentication. And so if we, just to do that, it's as simple as it sounds. Client underscore root underscore certificates. You do curly brackets, and then you have a name. This is just the look. This is the name that Azure is going to call your certificate. I just called it P2S certificate. Here we're going to have um. We're, we're actually going to put the public keys for your certificates. And so to do that, it's public underscore cert underscore data equals. And then you would just add in your information for your private key of your, your public key of your certificate. Then you would close off your brackets and you're good to go. So let's review it again. At this point, you have your Azure Virtual WAN created. You have your Terraform, you have your virtual WAN hub created. You have your VPN created, which your um, certificates and public keys are ready. And so the last thing you want to do is create your point to site VPN gateway. So to do that, you call resources. You have Azure RM underscore point underscore two underscore site underscore VPN underscore gateway. And then you have your local Terraform name. And so for here, I'm just going to call it Terraform gateway. Once again, we're going to name it in Azure. Just call it Terraform Gateway. Location is the same as before. Resource group is the same as before. Virtual hub ID is the same as before. Now we're going to call the virtual server, the VPN server configuration that we just did in the previous step. So VPN underscore server underscore configuration underscore ID equals Azure RM underscore VPN underscore server underscore configuration dot we named the VPN configuration before Terraform dash VPN, and so we're just going to call that dot ID. We're going to here we're going to specify our scale units. For here, one is fine, and then here is where we're going to have our connection configurations. And so for this example, the only thing we really need to configure is our um, address pool for our VPN clients, and so that's what we're going to do. So connection underscore configuration curly bracket name. This is just going to be the name of the configuration. So we're just going to call it. I'm just going to call it example dash gateway dash config. Here is where we get to our VPN address pool. So we have VPN underscore client underscore address underscore pool. Another curly bracket because it's nested inside. It's nested inside um, another nested statement. We have address underscore prefix equals and we're going to bracket it again. And then for here, the address space I just decided to use was 10.0.2.0 slash 24, but you can use whatever address space you like. You close off the brackets, you call close off your curly brackets, and you're good to go. And at this point, we're ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this, make sure everything's right. 
Then we're going to pull back up our console. And in our console, we're just going to run a Terraform plan. And we're going to run our Terraform plan to just make sure everything that was in that file is going to get created the way we think it's going to get created. So we'll let this run. And now that it's finished running, we can go and check. And so it says it's going to add five things. So let's check the seat of five things it's going to add. So one, we have our point to set gateway that's being configured, which is good. We want that. We have our resource group that's being created, and that's two. We want that. We have our virtual WAN hub that's being created. We want that. We have our virtual WAN that's being created. We definitely want that. And we have our VPN server configuration file with our um, certificates in it. We definitely want that installed. So yes, we do want all five of those things created. And now that we have that, we can apply it. So we're just gonna run the Terraform apply. And we're gonna want this run. Okay, and then now that we see this is done, we just want to verify that everything that we, the five things that we created are created. So we'll just do a Terraform show. We'll let that run. And let's see if we have the five things that we were looking for. So we have our KY, one, resource group, two, virtual hub, three, virtual WAN, four, and our VPN configuration, five. And so you're right, you should be ready to go. And so that is how you create a user VPN connection using Azure Virtual WAN and Terraform. Thanks for your time, bye.